video on um, how you go about taking an online Desmos test that I have prepared. If you're staying at home when it's test time or if you're isolating for COVID, I prepare these so that you don't miss out and so that I have some uh, power to control your um, access to the test instead of just sending the test home and you possibly distributing it. So when you are running the test, it'll be at a very specific time that I set with you so I can um, watch the system and see you answering questions as you do them in real time. What you'll be sent is a link. So this is how you will start the test. You'll press it, press on the link that I send you. It'll open. I'm asking you to continue without signing in and enter your full name. I'm just gonna call myself test student. Don't bother giving a fake name because you're the one who needs marks from me. So you need to identify yourself. So please make sure you read these instructions. I'm giving you extra time compared to the normal test as if you're writing it because um, this test will take longer because you're doing it online. You have to type out your answers and make sure you read the instructions. So the following test will be completely online. Each page of the test represents one question and all the sub questions, the letters. If you want to move to the next question page, you press the next button at the top right here. You can move back and forth. Please read all the instructions carefully for each question. Whenever a response is required from you, you input your responses in the boxes provided. Now for this test, you can complete your calculations by typing them out in the spaces. Now if you press this little button that I'll show you, it looks like a radical symbol with a square in it, and then the keypad button beside it, you can access the advanced functions and symbols you might need. Um, especially for this test because um, you can't just use a shortcut on the keyboard to do a radical symbol. You need to use this function. If you really cannot work out how to use that button, then I'll accept these symbols that you can type out. So just note, I'd accept a capital V for square root or the radical symbol if you really couldn't work this out. Also, that um, hat symbol, which is shift six, if you wanted to do to the power of, but I'm warning you, if you have to do it this way, your working out is going to look very confusing, okay? Um, for yourself, not for me. I'll be able to work it out. Um, the other thing, always ensure you press the submit button at the bottom of every question page. Don't leave any questions blank. Answer as best you can. I really suggest you perform calculations on paper. There's actually a question in the test for that to make sure that you got paper. So I'm asking you, have you read this? Yes, you press yes. That's going to save your um, your input. Um, I'll ask you to put your email address in. So I'm just going to type something random then. So you can see here, if you want your answer saved, you always press submit. Okay, then move on. Present your full name, test student. Always press submit when you're happy with your answers. Do you have a pen or paper to work? I highly recommend you do your working out on paper and then type them out. I'll ask for a declaration here. This is for you to formally say that you're taking the test under these conditions. Um, I really don't have control over what you're doing at home, but I'd hope that you're honest with yourself. And so if you read this, make sure that you've only got your access to your sheet of notes and a calculator. You type your name. If you have a parent at home, the next page is for them to declare that they're going to um, make sure that you do this. If not, if you don't have a parent at home because they're at work, that's fine. Um, I already have the declaration from you. So if you're lying, well, that's on you. So this is, these two questions here are for me to demonstrate how you go about typing answers to questions. Um, so the first one is for index laws. I should have written that, um, There'd be another question where you're using logs, but never mind. Um, I just want to show you how you type the answers out. So you type your answers in the text boxes below each question. Show each line of your working to get credit. Don't just show the answer. If you want the highest chance to get all the marks that you could possibly get, show all your steps. And that's why you're going to get heaps of extra time for this test, because you have to type out all of your lines of working. When using the text boxes, you press the little button that looks like this, then the keypad button beside it to access the advanced symbols. I'll show you that soon. And always ensure you press the submit button to save your responses. So for example, if I was answering this, 
if I want to simplify this. Um, so I need to multiply it by the conjugate over the conjugate. So I've got no way to type this out or fractions, but if I press that button and the keypad, I have access to a whole bunch of tools here. So now I can start answering it. I want a fraction and I'm showing the first line of working three take root five and multiplication here is represented by a dot. That's fine. I understand that. And I'm multiplying it by the conjugate over the conjugate. So I'm going to make another fraction by pressing A over B. And then it's going to be the conjugate, which is 3 plus root 5 over 3 plus root 5. That's my first line of working. Press Enter. The second line of working. It's going to be the top line multiplied, so it's going to be 7 times by 3, which is 21. Oh, it needs to be a fraction, so I'll make a fraction first. 7 times by 3 is 21, plus 7 root 5 is the top line. The bottom line, 3 times by 3, I'm foiling it, is 9. Um, outers, 3 times by root 5 is plus 3 root 5. Inners is going to be 3 times by negative root 5, so it's going to be negative 3 root 5. Oh, you'll see there I have a square root that's extended. That's incorrect. So I need to make sure that I move the cursor away to show that I'm starting fresh. So take 3 root 5. So that's separated now. And then negative root 5 times by root 5 is going to be negative 5. It's my second line of working. The next line of working is still going to be a fraction, so make a fraction there. I haven't done anything with the top line, still 21 plus 7 root 5. Then the bottom line, 3 root 5 take 3 root 5 is going to cancel out, so it's going to be 9 take 5, which is 4. I can't cancel this down anymore, so that's an example of answering this type of question using these advanced symbols, which I access by pressing that button and pressing the keypad button to reveal this. And I can access other functions there, which I'm going to use right now. With that table, simplify 2 log base 5 plus log base 10 of 8, take log base 10 2. Now, the only disadvantage with this system is you can't actually write the bases but that's fine. I'm only asking you questions that have the same basis. So it doesn't make a difference. Just write log. Okay. So 2 log um, 5. I can write logs with this. Okay. So it's going to be 2 log 5. Well, 2 log base 10 5. That's going to be log. And I'm going to use this button to go to the power of, because that 2 becomes the power of 5 here. Now, so I'm going to press that button there. So, 5 to the power of 2. Sorry, you press it after, not before. So, close the bracket. Then, plus log 8. Close the bracket, take log 2, close the bracket. So you see I can't write the base here, but that's fine because you're not actually doing any questions that have different bases. So I'll assume that when it says log there, you're using the same base um, as the question. Next line of working. So that... 5 squared is going to be log, 5 squared is 25, and bracket, plus, so that's the only thing I did in that line of working, log 8, bracket, take log 2, now using the log laws, when it's a plus, 
it becomes log of 25 times 8 in the bracket. I didn't do anything with this log 2 at the end, so I'm just going to leave it. Twenty five times by eight is four is a hundred. Eight would be two hundred. Take log two. And then the log law again. That's going to be the same as log 200 oop, fraction 200 over 2 bracket. Next line. So as you can see, this has taken a while. That's why you're being given extra time because you have to type this out and use these functions. 200 divided by 2 is 100. And what is log base 10 of 100? Well, what power do I raise um, 10 to to make 100 to? So that is your answer. So hopefully that shows you how you use Desmos to enter lines of working in this. It is time consuming, but that's the best option I've got if you're going to be away and if you want to get marked. So submit. And once you are finished the test, once you've gone through all the pages and you've checked your answers, all you need to do is close your tab and you finished the test. I've got the results straight here. Um, and I can actually see you um, doing the results as you go. So maybe if I've submitted, you see, that's me that was just doing it. Dashboard. I can review these answers. You can see I answered it. So this is after the fact, but I can actually I can actually watch you typing your answers in real time on these screens as you go. And that's my way of making sure that you're not cheating. And I also can pause the test after the time restraint given. Okay. So hopefully that clears things up. That's how you're going to take the tests online and see you in the next video.